Ciao, my name is Max and today we're going to create some hi-hats from scratch in Vital. We are going to be using Vital, which is a free synth, very similar to Serum, but if you don't have Vital yet, the techniques I'm going to show you are applicable to any synth of your preference. So before we start synthesizing, let's think about hi-hats for a second. Their sound is for sure an harmonic because they don't have a precise pitch, like a guitar string for example. The strings vibrate at a constant rate which produces a hearable pitch, and that's because they have a constant shape. Hi-hats and cymbals in general, on the other hand, have an inconsistent shape, and manufacturers make them like that. They also engrave different shapes into them. They vibrate differently in different portions of their body and they don't produce a hearable pitch. It's almost like white noise. Or is it? But how can we synthesize something complex like that? Let's take the TR-808 for example, the most iconic analog drum machine of all time. And I found this diagram on Sound on Sound magazine website, which shows the TR-808 circuit for hi-hats. And as we can see, it has six different square wave oscillators, which then pass through different filters. But the most important thing here is that these oscillators are not perfectly in tune. Perhaps with slightly different intonations, almost like a detune function or a unison. And that's because they try to mimic that enharmonic factor of a hi-hat. Now, here I got some hi-hat samples, and as we can observe, the overall duration is about 100 milliseconds, the envelope is pretty much triangular, and as we can see and hear, they have some harmonics at about 500 1k hertz, which is probably the initial stick hit on the plate. The general response seems to resemble somewhat a comb, and in this case, we can definitely see a predominant harmonic at about 7 to 10k. Now set that, let's grab our vital. And the first thing we want to do is set our voices to one. Now we're going to create that triangular envelope. I'm going to put it at around 500 milliseconds. Attack all the way down, give it a little bit of release. I'm putting the decay pretty long at about 700 milliseconds because I want to have a closed and an open hi-hat in the same patch. We're not going to use square waves from the basic shapes. We're going to use the pulse width right here, okay? I find it a little bit more flexible for our purpose. This is definitely not a hi-hat right now, but what we are going to do is increase the unison all the way up to 16 voices, 100%. Let's spread this out evenly. Right now it's stereo, let's go to the advanced tab and bring the stereo use unison all the way down. Change the detune range here to about 180, 170, just in order to give that enharmonic feel to it. Let's bring this up a little bit and... Okay, now let's pitch this up, I'm going to choose a note I'm going to be playing, maybe F, and I'm going to bring this up 40 semitones. Activate our sample, which is by default uh, a white noise, bring the level down, and in the distortion tab, I'm going to put RM from sample. Let's bring this somewhere where I can still see those peaks that we had, you see? Maybe we can pull this down a little bit and bring this down as well. Oh yeah, that seems a little bit more hi-hat-y-ish. Don't worry about these low frequencies here, we're gonna get rid of them very soon. Now we're going to bring up our second oscillator, but this time we're going to put this on basic shapes. We're gonna leave it as a sine wave. Let's bring the phase down and we're going to pitch this up 45 here. That sine wave up there at about 7k gives it that metallic feel to it as well. And let's bring our amp from sample again. I don't want this sine wave to be too much in there. 
Now let's activate our third oscillator. Let's choose again pulse width. Again, let's go with RM from sample here. Let's bring up the unison, 100%, spread this up, go to the advanced tab, bring down the stereo unison, and this time we're going to go higher with the detune range, maybe 3.2. Let's pitch this up as well. 21 seems to be reasonable. Oh yeah. Let's bring the noise level a little bit higher. Activate our first filter, set this for oscillator 1, oscillator 2, and oscillator 3 as well. And we're going to choose digital notch spread. Blend at the center. And we're going to position this at about 2K right here. Next, activate our second filter. We're going to bring here oscillator 1, oscillator 2, oscillator 3 sample and filter one as well. Basically, we're going to filter everything again, including the output of the first filter. Leather, notch blend, all right? Turn down the mix, increase the Q maybe a little bit, and we're going to position this somewhere about here. So we are kind of taming, kind of shaping that sound just a little bit. Yeah, I still want to hear that sine wave up there. I want to make this feel like a hi-hat before I go to the effects tab because if this already seems like a hi-hat right here, after we're going to bring the effects up, this is going to be so good. Let's go to the effects tab and the first thing we're going to do is distort just a tiny bit to give it that volume. What is going on here? Always, always high pass your everything. Where is my EQ? Bring this after our filter. Activate the high pass resonance up. This is going to be our stick hit, all right? Cut off at about 12k, 13k, something like that, but we're going to boost our high end. And now we're going to tame a little bit of this. Now let's activate our filter. Yeah, low high comp. Let's bring this down and put this here. Shaping that sound to our liking. Let's take a little bit of reverb and I'm going to show you this cool trick. If we put the pre low cut and pre high cut all the way up, it's not doing anything. Now we can tell it to just take the initial part of the hi-hat and reverb only that. Take our envelope, put it right here. Let's go to the matrix, more of this with this curvature so it's sharper. Whoops, whoops. Whoa, whoa, whoops. Okay, chill, chill, chill. Maybe that's too sharp. Let's go back. Something like that. And now we're going to compress that. Don't be stupid. Use the single band. Bring the upward compression all the way down. Maybe a little bit more of attack. Oh yeah, now I see. That's a little bit sharp actually. Oh yeah, now we're getting there. And I think that we are done. What else can we do to this sound? We can take this LFO, put this to our tune on our sine wave, make this bipolar LFO in seconds. This actually seems like a very good hi-hat. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. We can also try different bunch of filters here. Bring the mix down. Oh, that's kind of nice. And this is how you make hi-hats. I'm sure that's not like the perfect hi-hat to use in all your mixes, but I hope that you understand the idea behind synthesizing something like that. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something today. And if you did, consider subscribing. If you want this preset, you can grab this in my Discord. The links are all in the description below. Go check Vital, subscribe, leave a like leave a comment, let me know what do you think about it. Maybe I'm completely wrong in synthesizing my hi-hats. Thank you very much for sticking so long in this video. I see you soon. Ciao.